Hello, it's Miss Freelance here, and welcome to the 8th stage of the Tour de France MLC. Uh, are you guys ready for this? This is the first mountain stage, and this is the first time we'll see the big guns in actions. I am so excited for this, guys. I can't wait to get to Axe Trader Man. By the way, Bradley Wick is one of the favorites for this stage, and seeing him as one of the favorites, that's something you don't see every day. And it looks like Rolando is also ready to do something today. He's sitting in the front, and he's having an interest of leaving it to the team of the favor, because he's gonna go himself and try to do something else. If they're gonna use the entire team, he's gonna go counter. Let's see, nobody's attacked yet. It's 190 kilometers today, it's gonna be difficult. Do we see... Do we see this guy from Christina Watts' on phone trying to attack? No, they're just getting to the front. They're gonna set a high pace of Christina Watts' on phone, guys, from the get-go, because they got right ahead of all. And for them, they gotta make this as hard as difficult, so they are work they're gonna make so everyone's gonna be demotivated to attack because Ryder Hedgehog is not the best mountain guys, mountain rider in this peloton. We will see. Nobody's really doing anything yet, they're just keeping a steady pace. But I'll come back once the attack starts happening. The first guy to attack is Sandy Kassar from Francesca de Chou. He's getting followed up by... Is that Chris Anker Sørensen? Is that Chris Anker Sørensen? He looked like he was trying to attack for a second. But there goes Jan Bagelans and Lotto Bell assault. With the victory from yesterday, or the kind of victory, with Andrew Amador getting the uh, mountain jersey. Is Jan Bagelans going to follow that up by taking the mountain jersey today? Going over that out of category mountain and taking that jersey. Let's see how many points you can actually get going on the Paul de Pellier's. You get 25 points, but on the finish line you get 20 points. So technically Jan Bagelans can take that today. He's going Low in the front right now. Is he pulling a Michael Rasmussen right now? We don't know yet because we'll see if anyone else is gonna join him. Looks like nobody's up for this. Actually, we see Last Boom getting to the front right now. It looks like Last Boom might be ready to go. Also, Phil Schilbert is placed in the front, and Phil Schilbert has already got a lot of points in the mountain classification. Looks like Last Boom is really getting ready to attack. Also, Jonathan Hayward, but they don't have the balls to do it yet. It's still Christina Watches on phone, setting a high pace in the Pelton. It looks like it's gonna be Young Bagalans alone in the front. Maybe Sandy Gasar. Yep, Sandy Gasar is going. Sandy Gasar is going off, and Vada Pools is following up with. Fabio Duarte, this is like, we've never seen Fabio Duarte in a breakaway, I don't believe yet. So right now, Duarte pulls and Sadiq Asara is heading out to Jan Bakalans right now. What can these four guys do together? We'll have to see, they're yeah, getting followed up by Sylvain Chavanel. This guy's in the top 10, I don't see any how they would let him go right now, because Sylvain Chavanel is not a bad climber. And if he finishes in the head, he will take the yellow jersey. But right now, there's five guys in the front. It's Jan Bakalans, Vada Pols, Fabio Duarte, Sadiq Asara, and Sylvain Chavanel. These five guys are really, really strong. They're not going to be kidding around. They're going to go for the stage victory and maybe the Mountain Jersey, but we'll see. Right now, together, they have one and a half minutes out there, and it looks like the Peloton just saying, let them go. We are the strongest. We have all their big stars in here. It's going to be fun. Speaking about big stars, let's take a look. Movie star has got no one. A has got Rodriguez as the favorite. Orika Greenwich got Contador, which is a really big favorite. Mount Quebec has got Talansky as their favorite. Or Brakovich. We'll see whoever's gonna do the best. Quick Step has really got no one except Nosentini and Keshikov and Kanger, it looks like. And Rui Costa, actually. Rui Costa might be able to do something good. And Cannondale has got Jurgen van der Broek, one of the favorites for this stage, who can really do good if he doesn't crash. Also, Alejandro Valverde has got to be a really big favorite in BMC. That guy's a beast. And here comes Froome on Europe Cup. This guy's got to be one of the biggest favorites in the entire peloton because he is Christopher Froome and he's strong. Vincenzo Nibali on Garming. Oh my god, this guy's got something to prove. He lost his biggest help of Bittencourt on the first stage. Actually, the first stage the worst. And there's no explanation for that yet. Also, another fake big favorite, Bradley Wiggins, who's got a really strong team surrounding him. We'll see what he can do. Ryder Heschel, the yellow jersey on Christina Watch's on phone. He's definitely going to do good today in that yellow jersey. Also, Pierre Holland, one of the big favorites for the stage because he knows how, what it is to win up a mountain stage. Saxon Bang is Scott Chavanel, Kroisigor, and Ron is their captains. We'll see what they can do today. L Joker has got Jacob Fulsang, and the Danish guy is really being strong so far. And here comes Nutrition with Richie Port in top 10. Can he take the yellow jersey today? He's really good. And we just heard on tour radio that Eva Boston Hagen's had a fat tire, but I don't think that would matter on the stage like this. Then Lotto Bella saw with Marshall Scarponi. This guy did really good in the MLC Show Italia. Also, I can lay with Quintana. It's going to do really good with the old team surrounding him. Radio Shack's got TJ Van Garden, and it's going to be doing really good, I can guarantee you that. We also see Marlon Man Belkin doing really good, and, and last but not least, Argo Shimano with Egan Anton going for the Mountains jersey. The breakaway just crossed the intermediate sprint, and nobody really sprinted for that one, and it was won by Fabio Duarte. But down the peloton, I can only imagine that they would sprint for this one, because guys like Cavendish are going to do, get some points. But I don't see Cavendish anywhere, I just see Peter Zagan. Where is Cavendish? Oh, he's getting up. He's got Jeremy Roy leading him up for this one. But I think he's sitting far too, he's winning way too far back. It actually Peter Sagan. Tom Bone is winning for this one. Tom Bone looks like he's going to beat Cavendish on the line. That'd be hilarious. Tom Bone beats Cavendish on the line. But Peter Zagan takes some points back on Cavendish right there. I believe that Cavendish was sleeping right there.
haven't even, we haven't even hit the mountain yet, and two guys attacked. Bucky Mullum and Thomas O'Clair want to go alone up this mountain. They know that they're not the strongest in the peloton, so if they don't attack early, they might get dropped at that mountain. So we'll see what these two can do. Bulk Molema, the Belkin star, Thomas O'Clair, the AG2 War helper for Jorge Rodriguez. This might be a foreplay from Jorge Rodriguez to do something, but the pace is really high in the peloton right now because the Christina watches on for taking a high pace, and they haven't even hit the mountain yet. There is still around 10 kilometers until they hit the mountain, and way in the front, they actually only have like 3 minutes right now, so it looks like they will be caught before this mountain is over. More attacks in the peloton. Jacob Fulton, Thomas Degan, and Samuel San just leaving the peloton right now. There's going to be a five-man group trying to go up alone over this mo mountain called uh, something Polyers. I will check it right now. It is Porti Polyers. What can these five guys do together? They're all really strong. And if they catch us up to the five guys in the front, they will be even more stronger. And we have Janis Brykowicz attacking the mountain Kupega. We have now got confirmation that they're going for Andrew Talansky, meaning that Brykowicz is attacking now. And that might be something for Andrew Talansky later. On. Is nobody going to help Christina watch his own phone? With this high pace, it's going to be really interesting to see what's going to happen in the end. Right now, this high pace is really, really interesting. They had 308 left. Oh my god, this high pace is going to be something. Oh my god, 10, 20 kilometers to the top, and they still haven't hit this mountain yet. What the heck is going on? Three minutes to the front, and it looks like these six guys will catch up to the five guys in the front, and together those 11 men can really put some hurt in the peloton. The peloton has now officially hit the mountain, and there's only 119 guys left in this peloton, and it's going to be really exciting to see what's, go what's going to do what. We're going to see Rain Terramay in the front. Will he work or will he attack? He's got Samuel Sanchez in the front, so I really don't get why he's pacing right now. Let's see, in the front, they still got three minutes. They're on the race of three minutes. It really looks like this is hurting for some people. Just take a look at what they're in store for these guys. Young Christopher Hero, Sobel Deer, and Sagan is also sitting in front. What is Sagan doing up here? Is he gonna try to stay all the way to Extra Domain? Can Peter Sagan really survive that long? That'd be a surprise. Daniel Moreno sitting in the front, but nowhere near is his captain. He's actually sitting all the way down here, it looks like. He's getting protected by Robert Gasing, the upcoming talent. And there you see Andrew Amador actually surviving right now. And there's only 101 guys left in the peloton. We see the American flag to the right side and Italian flags. Oh my god, why is Rain Terramay pacing right now? He's got Samuel Sanchez in the front, he doesn't need to pace. And it looks like these 11 man guys are finally coming together. With 2 minutes and 30 seconds, what can they do up this mountain together? They should go really, really strong in my opinion. But what is Rain Terramay doing? This is Fiasco Chip on Yusuke Tail with a brain fart. Why is he pacing with Terramay? I do not get this. And it looks like Franz Leg is going to go in the front now. Is he going to attack or pace for Contador? Looks like he will pace for Contador. Now Neve and Moreno is going to the front to pace. This will start hurting the Pelton a lot. We also see Heschel is still sitting there, Kirienka is his Lloyd Lieutenant. Also Kreuziger is sitting up there, but he's four minutes behind, and he's actually trying to attack. Roman Kreuziger is trying to get away, but he got nowhere. Roman Kreuziger is four minutes behind. He might just be going for the stage victory. And with six kilometers to the top, nobody's been using this mountain so far. Still 97 guys left in the peloton. This is a big surprise. I would have expected more from this mountain. But in the front, they still got two minutes. This might be a stage for Samuel Sanchez where he can go on the downhill. Right now, we see lots of bellies all pacing for Samuel Sanchez. Does that mean that they have an, like a, a workshop, a like friendship between lots of bellies and Samuel Sanchez? I don't get that. Only 69 guys left in front. And Ian is a gear has been dropped. Ian Izagira has been dropped. That is a big surprise for them right there. That is a big disappointment for Christina Watches on phone. I think they expected more out of the Izagira. But that means we'll get a new guy in the white jersey. And where's Andrew Ta where's Andrew Talansky? He's sitting down here. Looks like Andrew Talansky will maybe get dropped really early in the stage. Jens Fogt is sitting here. The old bastard is still clinging on by the teeth. Let's see. It's a high pace with Michael Neve and Daniel Reno in the front. That's really doing something. And we have a tag. Alberto Contador's attacking Will Alan. They're going to put the hurt on right now. They're trying to get away. Alberto Contador's trying to attack right now. This is the first time we see the big guys attacking. With Pierre Alan right behind him. Where is Froome? We don't see Froome. Van der Broek tried to follow, but he couldn't. And Southie's trying to get up there now. Nicholas Roach is trying to attack on 82. Now Froome is going. Now Froome is going. He's still got pace. He's still got Fred Groom and Reno Neve pacing. And now he's sitting up there good. He's pacing for his captain, Nibali. And there's only 29 guys left in the Pelton right now. This guy's this is split all over the place. Look at these 11 man guys in the front right now. Let's check a look. Sanchez and Gend is going alone right now. Let's check. The Peloton right now. Actually the five man group up here. Five man group. Nibbly now. Rodriguez. Froome, Moreno is up here, and Contador's up there, but look at the yellow jersey have been dropped, Van, de Van den Broek and Heschel has been dropped, now Evans is going to the front trying to pace, but the yellow jersey will switch hands, since Heschel has not been able to do anything, we're watching Heschel, just ju he's just giving up, and he's got two guys down here, but they can't help, in the front right now, it looks like an hour is getting dropped, this is a big 17 man 
group, but in the front, Samuel Sanchez is attacking. He won that mountain sprint. Will Samuel Sanchez win the stage? He's a brilliant downhiller. What can he do? Actually, Samuel Sanchez right now has got the mountain jersey. Froome is pacing for him right now. We might see Nibali attacking on this downhill because Nibali is a brilliant downhiller to, together with Samuel Sanchez. Nibali and Sanchez should have attacked together, in my opinion. They could have worked together. They're both really good downhills. Sandy is size up here. This is a really good tactic by Roland and Francisco Chu. They have Kassar up here to help Roland in case anything happens. So right now, the guys up here are by the polls, Thomas McClare. Daniel Moreno, Sylvain Chavanel, Jacob Folsang, John Bagelans, Brykowicz, Duarte, Molema, Degent, Roland, Rodriguez, Contador, Froome, Hinao, Kassar, Nibali. Actually right now, Nibali is pacing for Hinao. He might just be pacing the front to distance, distance this group. This group with the yellow jersey is trying to get back before the extra to Man Mountain. But I don't believe they can get back. We are actually have attacks in the, oh that's actually back in E10 with the Mountain jersey. So it looks like the Mountain jersey is also going to switch hands. But can someone else I just keep this one minute lead in half a second? I have a minute. If someone else just pulls this off, it's amazing. And then Fiasco just was not a brain fart with having Rain Terror May pacing the peloton, trying to destroy the other guys. Right now, the yellow jersey is still a minute behind, but he's gaining time on this group. And that's because they're not really working together. With 15 kilometers left, what's going to happen? They're still going downhill. We'll take a quick break. Alverda was actually in the group with the yellow jersey, but the yellow jersey has came back, and it looks like Ryder Hedgehog might be able to protect it just a bit longer. But they're now going to hit the extra domain. And the first guy to hit it is going to be Samuel Sanchez. But right behind him is Sergio Hinao. And Contador is already attacking. They just hit the extra domain. And Contador is attacking with Froome, Nibali, Rodriguez, Roland, and Thomas de Gen. It looks like Thomas de Gen is going to be the favorite on Nutrition. It's not even going to be Richie Port. He's just sitting down here relaxing with Derrick Coltaldo. And Hesedal used too much power in the downhill trying to get up there. Right now, Hinao, Valverde, de Gen is trying to do something. But Valverde missed out on that attack. It looks like Baseball Lover on BMC is going to miss the fun right now. It looks like in the front. Actually, Valverde is getting up there. Looks like Nibali is getting dropped out of this. But in the front is still Samuel Sanchez. A minute with what, five kilometers left. Can Samuel Sanchez pull this off and win on next man and take the yellow jersey? He's definitely going for it right now. But right behind him is Froome, cut the door, Roland, and Rodriguez sitting at a really high pace. How can Roland keep this up? No, Froome and cut the door. Head to head battle. They got 10 seconds down to the other guys. Where are all the other guys at? Valverde is getting dropped by Nibali. is getting dropped. Again, is getting dropped. But where's Richie Port? Richie Port is disappointing right now. Right now, Samuel Sanchez still got 30 seconds after Froome cut the door. It's gonna be a battle between Froome and Contador, it looks like. Oh my god, the high pace of a council lays trying to attack with Quintana with the Hesedal group. They're now catching up to Degent, Evans, and Costa. And here's Nibali, everything is splattered out. It's gonna be total chaos. They're now catching up to Sanchez. Oh my god, Froome and Contador with Sanchez with three kilometers left. Sanchez did a really good tactic. Here goes Contador, looks like he's going counter right now. Contador is trying to go ahead and drop Sanchez. But there goes Sanchez. Sanchez still got some left in the tank. Sanchez is going off with 2.5 kilometers. The other guys are not reacting to this. Samo Sanchez going off with two kilometers to the end. Who's going to win the stage? Is it going to be Fayez Kuchia on his Kuchil? Is it going to be Ibiati 1-3 on your Green Edge? Or is it going to be Kaiken Sun on a Europe car? 1.1 kilometers left. It's going to be Contador versus Froome. Sanchez Sanchez is still up there. Sanchez is going to go in top 10. It actually looks like Contador is going to take the yellow jersey by doing this. It's Contador versus Froome. Contador is the first to lose the final sprint. But Froome is right behind him. Froome cannot go inside of him. It looks like Contador is going to win the stage. Contador is the winner of the first mountain stage. And he imitates Peter Sagan. Sandwich on the third. Rodriguez and Roland fourth and fifth. Behind him is Nibali getting 6th. That's a big disappointment, Nibali getting 6th. And right behind him is the Verde, also a big disappointment. But Rui Costa is going to sneak his way into top 10. That's a really nice surprise for them right now. And ninth plays Quintana. And Hesedal is not going to keep his yellow jersey. That's such a disappointment. So we'll wait for the tail end to come over the line. So the big winners are Berto Contador and Christopher Froome. But Samuel Sanchez is in top 10. Actually, top three is really good. Hesedal loses three minutes. That was not his day. Nibali losing a minute and a half. That's a big disappointment. But Piero Land is a big upset right there. He's actually in top five. And Contador is in the yellow jersey with 19 seconds down to Samuel Sanchez. And 43 seconds down to Christopher Froome. Froome is really going to do something epic to take that away from him. So the new top ten looks like this. Oh my god, Rukas is actually in top ten. Oh my goodness. And Sagan is still in that jersey. And I believe we'll actually see Samuel Sanchez in the mountain jersey. We'll see him or we'll see Contador. I'm still trying to do the math in my head right here. But Sagan is extending his lead by taking that intermediate sprint in front of Cavendish today. In the mountain, we will actually see Samuel Sanchez by one point. But it's a tie for second place now. 36 points between Contador and Froome. Right now, the Tour de France is so close, guys. It's so close. It's unbelievable. But will Contador keep the yellow jersey all the way?
Tipo we know is the best young rider right now. We're Quintana 14 seconds behind him. Chichi and Garo in 39 seconds. It looks like it'll be a battle between these three guys. And Talansky disappointed with 4 minutes behind. I expected better from Talansky by a lot. And Yusuke Telescati is the best overall team. Where was Bradley Wiggins in that stage? We'll have to see if we can find Bradley Wiggins after this. Where was Tom Danielson as well in Yusuke Tell? Did they finish in top 25? I, didn't, I never really saw him in this stage, but Contador winning the stage, that's a big offset. I would have expected Froome to win this one. We'll take a look at Escutel Ascari. Okay, there they are. Okay, the winner of that, oh, Viviani is not the winner of that, for sure. But someone's on just, actually, Wiggins gets in top 14. Tom Danison disappointed, but Rain Terror in 32nd, it's not bad at all. So we'll take a quick look. Still, the Latern Rouge is costing Krohn two hours behind. He's going to be really difficult to beat in that competition. But this is just the top 10. Right up outside top 10, we have Bradley Wiggins, Tipa Pino, Jürgen van der Broek, Nero Quintana, and Daniel Moreno. And Richie Port disappointed in the stage. But thank you guys for watching the stage. Please leave a like. Please leave a comment what you thought about the stage. Please subscribe to me if you like my content. See you guys.